Osea has been in Eastern Africa now for close to 10 years. Um, we first started as an organization um, initially in Kenya, but over the years we've uh, expanded to, to Uganda, to Tanzania, to Sudan, and to South Sudan. Um, and so we are 10 years also in the region, uh, which is why for us it's been an exciting moment uh, to be reflecting on our strategy and to be rethinking it. OSEA now has a new strategy. Uh, our new strategy is for the period from 2017 to 2020, so it's a four-year strategy. The new OSEA strategy gives us a, an opportunity to respond to the current um, external context. And it does this in a number of ways. First of all, we um, are able to enrich the uh, programs that we've had at national and local levels to enrich that with the sort of sub-regional um, engagements. It gives us a um, thematic approach, which is working across um, the countries of a region in, on a particular theme and issue. Um, that way we're able to pool our resources, we're able to pool our strategies, and we're also able to make connections between what's happening in the different country contexts um, to be able to strengthen really the kinds of advocacy that we want to see or the kinds of processes and measures that we want to see. Currently our, our new strategy speaks of at least four broad areas that we'll be focusing on. One area of focus, uh, we call it democratic governance and the rule of law. The second is equality and non-discrimination. The third area is work around economic governance. The fourth theme is work on health and rights. The Democratic Governance Program uh, seeks to support work that will uh, help our region to realize the ambition of accountable and responsive governments. Specifically, we are working to improve people's participation in uh, the management of their governments through, for example, uh, participating in transparent, fair, and credible elections, participating in constitutional making, participating in the design of, the, of governance institutions. We are also working to support initiatives that protect uh, people's rights, that protect human rights defenders. We are also working on the right to information and freedom of expression, uh, supporting communities that have been victims of violations of human rights or harm conflict to seek for accountability. Priority areas for the economic governance program include food security, particularly food security for the pastoralist people, the natural resources that are, have been discovered in the pastoralist areas, conservation uh, areas that ha have been used for a long time to, to compete in a way you know, between animals and people for space, for pastures and for water, minerals, climate change issues, and so on. The second one is macroeconomic policy, particularly in relation to trade and taxation. This uh, looks at the very complicated relationships that an African country has with the de developed countries of the world. Taxation in particular relates to the investments, you know, investors who come to this country and as an incentive to invest in this country end up not paying taxes for a reasonable amount of time, uh, but also the use the deployment of taxes that have been, po uh, have been paid in terms of service de delivery. The last area is uh, a natural resource governance. This country, this region, and this continent are very rich with natural resources. But the problem of management is the biggest. The priorities for the equality and non-discrimination thematic area again, are, I think, threefold. One is about how do we safeguard, again, the gains that we've made for those communities. 
Um, the second is really about uh, the engagement of policies, law, and practice, um, and about ensuring that the laws and, and practice in the region um, centralize the principles of equality and non-discrimination. And so by extension, it's also about challenging discriminatory laws and practice. The other key uh, expectation is that really we will continue to support constituents from marginalized communities to be able to engage and to be able to participate fully in the processes of decision making that affect their lives. The other critical area for us is to really strengthen the knowledge production and understanding from the lens of those communities in East Africa and what they aspire to do um, and what they have contributed. The Health and Right program basically deals with the determinants of health, uh, structural and social. Uh, and particularly looking at the issues of people who are marginalized. We have uh, identified certain overarching issues that affect different populations in different ways. For example, the issue of social exclusion, the issues of uh, criminalization of certain groups of persons, uh, and then we have also issues of um, you know, narratives that have been formed that define uh, what is perceived to be normal and what is not normal and how these you know, are affecting different populations. And therefore, in terms of prioritization, we are looking at how we can address issues of criminalization, particularly affecting persons identifying themselves as LGBTI, uh, sex workers, and persons who use drugs. Uh, but also we have other groups uh, of persons facing certain uh, difficulties in their interaction with the health systems. And these include persons who need palliative care, we have concerns about uh, governance issues and how governance interface with health, financing, and accountability for health resources. We hope that over the next couple of years uh, that both us and the partners we work with uh, continue to make contributions that make Eastern Africa uh, a place where people live with dignity, uh, where people's human rights are respected uh, and where particularly those who live on the margins of society, uh, persons with disabilities, uh, sexual and gender minorities, women, youth, um, that they can live in a society that respects them, that recognizes and protects uh, their basic rights. Uh, because at the end of the day, Eastern Africa is a better place where we are able to carry everybody uh, with us along. Thank you.